Hello my viewers. One of you out there has tore apart the air conditioner and is emailing me asking me to give him a hand putting it back together again. So I hope this video helps. It's basically to teach you how you can figure out where the wires go back in your air conditioner. With this little lesson in wiring diagrams I'm hoping that this will help you. Also, as you can see, I'm an avid hat wearer. If you have a company or organization or something and you have a hat that you'd like for me to wear, you can email me and or private message me and ask me where you can mail the hat out to me and I'll be proud to wear it. Oh, no profanity, please. Okay, in this case I have a dual run capacitor and this wire right here that goes to the fan side of this run capacitor is brown and it goes to the condensing fan motor. This black wire that is connected to the common side of the run capacitor goes to the condensing fan motor as well. Up here at the defrost board you'll see where the third condensing fan motor wire connects up here. Well, that's marked for fan. Now for the compressor, here's the contactor for the compressor and you'll see where two of the wires connect to the compressor. The third wire, which is this yellow one, connects to the compressor side of the run capacitor right here. Now maybe you remember in my wiring diagram video where I explained that the wiring diagram is like a road map and it tells you where all the components are supposed to be connected. Here on this wiring diagram what we're looking at is the run capacitor. See here's where the fan wire is connected right here okay which is marked as a brown number 11 which we have right here brown and believe it or not it's marked with an 11 on it and if you follow the, where this wire goes you see okay on this diagram it's connected to the outdoor fan motor now let's follow this violet wire, see that's what VT20 means, it means that it's violet and it's marked number 20. Let's follow this from the outdoor fan motor. It goes up, let's see here, here, and it's connected on our defrost board right here. Now let's see what it, it looks like in reality here. And here we are, right here, just like the wiring diagram showed, and it's marked with a number 20 on it. It's plugged in exactly where it's supposed to be. And here we are. All right, now let's follow this next wire from the condensing fan motor. And it is marked a black 27. And here we go. Let's see where she stops. And let's see, right here at the common side of the run capacitor. Here's our black 27. Let's see, I see it's marked number 27 right here. And it's black and is connected to right here at the common side of the run capacitor. Now let's check to make sure the compressor is connected where it's supposed to be. All right, here's where the wires connect to the compressor. R means run, C means common, and S means start. So let's try this. Let's follow where this wire goes from our run winding on the compressor. Let's see, it's going to be red 10. And it's connected here, right here on T1, on our contactor. And here's our compressor contactor. And here's the T1 connection. Here's the red wire 
that is supposed to be going to our run winding on the compressor. And it is marked red 10. Now here on the start winding on the compressor will follow that wire and it's going to be yellow. Number 12 is what it would be marked if anything. So we'll move over to where it's supposed to go. Let's see. Okay. Yellow 12 is connected to the compressor side of our run capacitor which is Herm as in Hermetic. Let's check to see if that's true. Here is our yellow 12 wire and yes it is indeed connected to the compressor side of this run capacitor which is marked HERM. I don't know if you can see that very well it's kind of uh, rusted there. Now let's verify that the common wire to the compressor is connected to the right place. Here's our common connection here on the compressor and it's going to be a violet 20 so we'll follow that wire and it goes to T2 on our compressor contactor. And again here's our compressor contactor. Here's the T2 connection right here and it is a violet wire which by the way is marked violet 20.